It's 5 p.m. Monday, April 8th. And this eclipse, man, we're still here. The world didn't end. No major events happened. And now, life goes on. And of course, all you already know what it is. It's your boy laid back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bat. It's your boy laid back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more 2024. Elevate more 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. The eclipse has passed. And now we got some TikToks talking about it. Because there was a lot of failed predictions out there. A lot of them. But like I always say, make sure you do your own research. Also, if you into this type of stuff, conspiracy theory type things, I got a full playlist a TikTok videos that you can go through and just binge watch. It's entertainment to say the least. But if you make it to the end of this one, you a real one for real. Shout out to my real ones. I see you too. I try to like all them comments when they say real one for real. I try to like those because I know they the real ones. But let's go ahead and get it. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Oh, I never get on this app and cry. We don't have time no more. We don't have time. If you live in the city of Dallas, Texas, city. if you live in the city of Dallas, Texas, mm -hmm. there is a massacre that is about to happen on the city of Dallas. Y'all, we don't have time to be playing. We don't have time to be worried about any other shit. Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's the last time that I'm going to address this. Okay. I'm not a prophet. I don't want to be a prophet. I don't want to be none of that because it's weighted, it's heavy, and That's true. It's, it's, it's a lot to care. I can't make this up. These jokes write themselves. These jokes write themselves. This is prophecy. If you want real prophecy, the most high spoke of, the, of these people who proclaim mm. that they are prophets, who claim they speak something, but they don't come to pass. That's prophecy. Mm. That's how I know we are in the, in the in the age that we're in. And they just write themselves. They literally write themselves. And did you see how many people liked it, saved it, shared it, and listened and actually thought this was true? Now imagine what else are they capable of obeying other than the most high's words all you have to do is read the bible mm. that's it the most high will use you if he will use you all you have to do is just obey him all you have to do is read all you have to do is pray and fast and just be a good little child for him that's it but you got to come up on here and use a solar eclipse mm. And make up your own prophetic word saying that you in the spirit and you so-called speaking in tongues going ha -la 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 abracadabra. No, no, stop it. I keep telling you this and it's not just me, but there's many more people out there who are way oh, more man. into the doctrine who will expose these people way worse than I will, honestly. And they will tell you, you are at fault. So sister, you are at fault. How mm. dare you? convince 70,000 plus people to think that there Ooh. was some type of massacre in Dallas, Texas because there was an eclipse. Mm. Are you serious? You have no right. And then you then after all that whole all those that show and tell crocodile te tears the next day you're like I'm not a prophet. I don't want to be a prophet. Mm. You dang right. Cuz you sure as heck can't even be a servant. If you're going to be acting like that, you deceiving thousands, sis. Who are you? Get it together. Stop. Just just stop. Stop trying to force something. Stop trying to force the most high to, act, act, to talk to you. If you want him to talk to you, read. Literally, a lot of y'all like the show and tell and the smoke and mirrors of this. Ooh. Oh, the most high told me this. He told I heard the words massacre. I heard you want to know what the massacre is? You leading his sheep astray. Ooh. That's a massacre. 
you need to get it together. If you want him to talk to you, read. And if you really want him to talk to you in a loud voice, read his word out loud. It is not that hard. Y'all making things so difficult. This is an open book test. He's giving you the instructions. He's telling you what to do, what not to do, and how to live a righteous life. And you have to go and try to make stuff up. Yes, yes, there was an eclipse. Yes, we all know it's a warning and we know it's it's time to get right. But at the same time, how dare you use that to fear monger thousands upon thousands? You know how many people in Dallas right now are probably like, oh, I don't want to step outside because this sister told me that I'm going to, there's going to be a massacre. There's going to be a massacre. And then nothing happened. Not just there, but everywhere. For the past, like, month, we've heard nothing but raptures massacres end of the world everything you can think of under the sun literally no pun intended this is exactly what's happened and instead of you just reading and worshiping and preaching the word you got to act like you somebody else and you not you are not jeremiah you are not isaiah ezekiel Moses, stop putting these titles on you. Stop forcing these titles on you. If that's not your calling, that's not your calling. That's real. Let it go. That's real. Stop coming up on here and forcing people to see a dream that only you think is real. Mm. And you using everything under the sun. You're using media. You're using other people's videos and you're using your own thoughts. And that's dangerous. When you use your own thoughts, you are not acting in the spirit at all. You just need to keep your mouth shut and just tell people no matter what happens in this world, we know it's going to end. That's already given. But when you start doing these things and fear mongering, you're not only fulfilling prophecy mm. of being a false prophet. You're putting blood on your hands by leading his sheep astray. That's a fact. So with all due respect, and I'm sorry for raising my voice. But it just hurts my spirit that there's people out there who will listen to these individuals and take their word, a word from a man. And I'm not saying like she's a man. I'm just saying in general from from the men. And you rather listen to that than to hearken onto the word of the most high and just let it be. So what I'm going to sign off with is just. If it's not in you to say it, don't force it. It's better off just being a servant and minding your own business and preaching the word the way it's supposed to be preached and spreading awareness of people like that. That's all I have to say. So blessings, and I'm sorry for the lengthy video, but I had to say what I had to say. That's it. All praise the most high. Thank you all. It's 5 p.m. Monday, April 8th, and this eclipse, man, we're still here. The world didn't end. No major events happened. And now, life goes on. And of course, all those people who predicted doom and gloom, they won't admit anything didn't happen. Instead, they'll say something happened in the spirit, and then turn their attention to the next event, saying, that will be the one. But look, here's the deal. Mm. It's time to stop with the doom and gloom nonsense, and instead, become the people Jesus said we could be. You know, mm. doing what Jesus said do. His kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Basically, and I'm going to be a bit vulgar here, but my patience is at low levels with all the silliness. It's time to pull our heads out of our collective butts. Stop mm. partnering with darkness and fear. And it's time to put our hands to the plow mm. and put our proverbial money where our mouth is. and Get to work releasing the love of God to a world in desperate need. It's time to do our part. And tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern, our U.S. registered charity and nonprofit here in Puerto Rico, Awake to Dream Incorporated, is going to have our first official partnership presentation. And I'm going to show you what we're doing here in Southwest Puerto Rico, release the details, the facts, the financial figures to you, and how you can be a part of this oh, he plugging his joint to not just affect change in a he region, plugging his joint with your help, the entire world. And we love it. If you joined us, 
Just check the linky dinky do in my profile. It'll take you right there. Said the linky so if you're ready to roll doo. up your sleeves and get to work being the change that you want to see, this guy, please, he think he's slick. The invitation is there. Join us. It's time for us to grow up and move past the silliness. Instead of waiting around for the end of the world, it's time to become the manifest children of God that creation is longing for. Romans 8.22, by the way. And create real lasting change that goes beyond what we can imagine. And we can imagine quite a bit. It's time to wake up and dream with God. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. So the world didn't end. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed because I was kind of expecting something major to happen. I don't know, mm. the sky exploding. I don't know, the dome finally cracking. I don't know, something, aliens. But nothing happened. Nothing happened. And I know this that a lot of us are definitely disappointed because Why? we're just all so exhausted soul exhausted physically why are people exhausted that nothing happened like why would you want that stuff to happen because people said it was gonna happen so people like was longing for this moment to happen and all this build up and then nothing happened and now they upset that people didn't die and it wasn't a massacre and it the sky didn't break into pieces and like, this is funny. I ain't even gonna lie. To see how everybody's energy has shifted now after the eclipse has passed, nothing really changed, nothing really happened, and everybody like kind of like, hmm, let's see. Spiritually exhausted with being in this planet, living in this realm full of lies, mm -hmm. full of toxicity. It's exhausting. And... Yeah, I kind of had some high hopes for April 8th, um, but here we are. I got nothing on my end but the fake clouds covering the sun, as always. Unless you saw something on your end, if you did, please share with us. Um, yeah, I'm very... I am disappointed. I was waiting for something major to happen, I don't know. If the world ended today, I would be absolutely fine, absolutely okay with it. Because a bitch is tired. I guess we need to go back into paying bills, paying to live on planet Earth. I'm disappointed. That's, that's the only word that comes to my mind. So she wanted to die? Help me in the comments. Is that what she's saying? I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Mm. So everybody who was kicking and screaming about the eclipse, what are we going to talk about now? Because the eclipse then came and went. Ain't nothing happened. Okay? Ain't no zombies. Ain't no demons walking around. So what are we going to talk about mm. now? Tell y'all this. If the world was truly about to end, you wouldn't find out that the world was coming to an end until you looked up at the sky and you saw that goddamn giant rock covered in fire plummeting towards you. That's, that's the only way. It actually wouldn't tell you because they wouldn't want to cause panic amongst the common folks. I don't know why people think that they are so like far ahead of the government or they got all... I'm 20 steps ahead of the government. You got to stay woke. You got to know what's going on. Y'all don't know what's going on. Uh, you barely know what's going on in your personal life. You barely Ooh. know what's going on with your health. Ooh. How the hell you expect me to believe you know what's going on with the government and with the CIA and what they planning to do and how they planning to take over and do this and do that. And I need to stay woke. You need to wake up and go touch some grass. Mm. You need to wake up and step into reality and go get you a motherfucking job. Stop playing around. I just don't get it. Hey, you have made it past April 8th. Congratulations. All these past weeks, you thought something terrible was going to happen. You thought the demons were going to come out and kill people. You thought the world was going to end. You thought Jesus was coming back. Well, guess what? Nothing happened. Zero. 
All I saw today was nothing but people in pure joy looking at the eclipse through their glasses. And it was just a, norm, a normal day. So no need to worry anymore. You can calm down. Mm -hmm. You can stop crying. Mm -hmm. You can have your anxiety be taken away. Mm -hmm. You can take a bath, maybe. Take a bath. You can just breathe in and breathe out. And you can sleep peacefully tonight. But the eclipse, let's talk about it. Boy, it was absolutely beautiful. Like just looking up at it and seeing the phase of the moon pass in front of the sun. It was something. It was really, really cool. I literally looked at it for like a few seconds. But then like I got my phone out and I started recording it for another few seconds. And it actually looks really cool on footage. But it was amazing to see how the sky would darken and then it would just like brighten up again. It was like being on a different planet. It was very surreal and bizarre at the same time, but it was amazing. And this is why you have to admire God's handiwork. I mean, with the work he has created with his fingers, everything he has made is just spectacular. Whether it's on earth or from space, you gotta look at it. I mean, God is just beautiful. God is everything. I don't hear nobody else talking about Jesus coming back. <laughs> y'all mighty quiet. Y'all don't hear y'all talk about my daddy coming back now. We said nobody know the day or hour, so what makes you think you knew the day or the hour? Mm. 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 They in their bag. <laughs> okay, but why do we make such a big deal out of the solar eclipse? Like, wasn't the world supposed to end? <laughs> Okay, guys, but for real, why did we make such a big deal out of it? Like, literally, it didn't even, it didn't even black out. It didn't even, nothing happened. But I guess this serves as a lesson for all of us to realize that not everything we see on the internet is true. And I know that's cliche, like, I know everybody says that, but everybody was saying that the world was going to end, that we're not going to have internet for two months, that Jesus is coming back, which, by the way, it says it in the Bible that no human knows when Jesus is coming back. So, we can't just believe everything we'd be seeing on the internet, you know? But literally nothing happened. Like, it wasn't even dark. <laughs> like, it didn't even black out. Like... But yeah, guys, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Um, literally, everybody was saying that the world was gonna end, that we were gonna have three days of darkness, that Jesus was gonna pull up. Really, guys, nothing happened. It was literally over like that. It was really fast. But yeah, if anything crazy did happen, you guys should let me know because I love reading your stories. So what now? It's a beautiful day. The birds are literally singing. The sun is shining. What now? Mm -hmm. what, what's, where is it? What's going on? Answers. Now. Because y'all just did all that. <laughs> Y'all do all that for what? For views and All clicks. that for what? That's got to be embarrassing. Clicks and views, man. I hope you made a lot of money. I hope you made money off the views and the clout. See? Because you did all that for what? For, a be for one of those beautiful days that we've had in a long time. Whatever the fuck timeline y'all are on, go ahead and stay there for me. I'm not there. I'm not, it's not giving doomsday vibes. It's not giving three days of darkness. The sun is literally shining. The birds are fucking singing. There's internet lying to these people talking about it's about to be three days of darkness. Ain't no three days of darkness happen. That's what y'all get for following false prophets on social media. Talking about a three days of darkness after His the story. His glasses is crazy. Stop lying. What's going on? Why is it moving? Why is what moving? It ain't no rapture though. They actually recorded the eclipse, huh? Kids say ain't no rapture. See it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It ain't in totality. What does that mean? 
Well, you ain't gonna even see that thing unless we missed it already. You ain't gonna even see that crescent shape. It's gonna cover the whole thing. Right. I think that's about to happen. Man, they lying. <laughs> that ain't no room. Whatever that is, it's moving the sun out of orbit. <laughs> that's it's stupid. pushing the sun. You pushing him away? No. Yeah, gone. She said, man, they lying. No, it ain't gonna still the same thing. Yeah, but I'm saying he's pushing. So you're wrong. The Bible talks about an earthquake before an eclipse, signaling the end of times and the second coming of Jesus. Now, I understand you're saying that doesn't mean the exact day of the second coming of Christ will be an eclipse. But what you seem to be insinuating is that the eclipse is like right there next to the second coming of Jesus. And I fully disagree with that. Also, it seems like everybody took my video out of context. The whole point of my video was to call out the insane lies and all of the clickbait that a lot of so-called Christian influencers are using mm. to gain clout from this eclipse. You guys were all fixated on the meme that I posted. You didn't see the greater picture, which is all of these accounts are talking about some end time event during this eclipse. The eclipse is now over and I don't know if you guys can tell but none of these false prophecies happened. The entire point of my video was to warn against all of these false prophecies and false prophets that were insinuating or outright saying that something prophetic was going to happen today, April 8th. And yeah. guess what? Nothing prophetic has happened today. The clips came and went and none of these false prophecies were fulfilled today. That was the whole point of my video. So anybody that fell for these false prophets, what I was trying to say is don't listen to them because they are clearly trying to mislead you by creating false narratives and false prophecies. Nevertheless, I have something I want to address with you specifically. The passage that you gave me was Revelation 6, 12. I have already done a video explaining how I feel about this specific passage, but notice what the passage does not say. The passage says the sun became as dark as black cloth and the moon became as red as blood. It doesn't say that the sun momentarily became black or that the sun was momentarily overshadowed by something or that the moon was momentarily looking like it was red as blood. No, it said that the sun became as dark as a black cloth and the moon became red as blood. So these are two completely different things. Furthermore, this is Revelation chapter 6. Jesus literally does not show up until Revelation 19. And it's not like all of these events from chapter 6 to 19 transpire in the same day mm. or even in the same year. Just to give you an example, the event of the two witnesses takes 42 months, which is literally three and a half years. So to simply say that a solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, whatever eclipse is going to signal the immediate coming of Christ, it is nowhere close to that, not even in the book of Revelation because multiple years pass by afterwards. So I disagree with your notion. I feel like a lot of people mistook the point of my video if that is the case, I want to clarify with this follow-up video and I also want to respectfully disagree with the point that you were making. I also think it is foolish to claim that every single solar eclipse means that Jesus is right around the corner. <laughs> there have been so many solar eclipses mm -hmm. ever since the resurrection of Christ. If we literally called every single solar or lunar eclipse an end times event, it would just be foolish because we would live in the comments. If you was one of the people that thought that the world was going to end or you fed into any of these conspiracy theories about April 8th, how do you feel now in regards to nothing happened, nothing transpired? How do you feel to get so caught up in the hoopla was going on and then all of a sudden nothing happens? Seeing how because this stuff right here can trigger a lot of emotions in people. You know what I'm saying? Some people were scared. People was fearful. People was buying all type of stuff. Like, what, how much of a impact 
did that have on you? Be honest. You know what I'm saying? If if you believe this stuff, because they was talking about this stuff for months and months about what was going to happen. If you fed into it and you actually believed it and for the day to come and then nothing happens, how does that make you feel on the inside? I want to read your comments. Let's go. Literally want God to work on human timing and God works in his own timing, not in human timing. So how about we just stop saying all together that the next eclipse is going to be an end times event and that Jesus is going to come shortly or soon after that. That is not biblical. And like I stated, and like the book of Revelation says, these events are nowhere close to each other. Even the passage that you signaled in your comment is no. Well, the eclipse came and left and the judgment of God did not fall in America. How do you know? We are still alive. Mm. Bring this up because some people were predicting that was what was going to happen because the eclipse was a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Now, it is mm -hmm. true that the Bible says that there'll come a point historically when the sun will not give its light, but that mentioned by Jesus in Matthew 24 is talking about a period coming to the world called the Great Tribulation Period. It has not begun yet. But people do this whenever there's an eclipse, which happened about mm. every 18 months, or a blood moon, or something else. So here's the thing we need to remember. We don't know when Jesus is coming again. Right. Jesus says, no man knows the day or the hour when the Son of Man will return. What do you mean by that? What do you mean, what do I mean by that? What it actually means is, no one knows the day or the hour. So Simple. any prophecy so-called or message from a prophet of the Lord that they just received this message from God and this blood moon says this or this eclipse says that. Come on, don't believe these people because it didn't happen and they said it would. But you know what? Jesus is coming again. It should cause us to live more godly lives. In mm. First John it says, he that has this hope, it is the hope of the Lord's return, purifies himself even as he is pure. Let's live pure lives. Let's wake up and let's do our best to share the gospel with as many people as we can as we await the return of Jesus. Y'all, I think I know what CERN was doing while this eclipse was happening. Do you see this? There is so many different videos and footage of demons flying by the sun. By the way, to all you vultures using people's videos without crediting them, stop it. This video belongs to this person. I'm about to show you another one in a minute. I'm going to slow it down right here. And then there was this one. Creator is again at the top. I seen that one. And there's so many more. Thoughts in the comments, please. Let and me know what you y'all really do. don't want to act like demons don't exist, there was a rumor that CERN was haunted after their first time powering up. And then as of lately, they say they found a 4D ghost in the CERN particle accelerator. AKA, they found a demon, another entity above our dimension. For anybody saying it's a rocket, you are completely fooling yourself. You are fooling yourself. And here is that one going back and forth. Look at that. That is insane, y'all. So does anyone want to tell me what all these demons were doing? Maybe this is why they brought up the demon face thing on the news. Here we go. Right back at it. Well, another rapture event. Come and gone. No Jesus. No Jesus coming all over anyone. Just disappointment. What? We'll see you again in September. Looking for the end of the world slash rapture. It was supposed to go down during the eclipse.
just got smooth. <laughs> what is wrong with that guy? That is funny. And that was a bit anticlimactic. Yeah. This eclipse is going to free you from that. Remember, this is a freeing eclipse. This is eclipse that frees people from what mentally keeps them stuck in their head. Okay, so there's okay. a freeing element to it. So the fifth house is Sagittarius's. Of course it is. Sagittarius. Now, this is the lady that predicted the P. Diddy thing months ago. So this is what she's talking about, about the eclipse. I don't think she said. I don't know. I haven't seen this video, so I don't know what she said. But let's see if she talk about rapture or any of that. This is you all are going to be out having fun with your kids, your gambling, your love life, your sex life. This eclipse is bringing about. Now, listen to this, Sagittarius says. The eclipse is bringing about the ability to step away from things that have held you back because you are connected to them because you have a love affair with somebody who believes in that way of thinking. So Sagittarius is, is going to be able to discern between their thoughts and their lover's thoughts. That's what's going to happen. Okay. For Sag, Scorpio, sixth house, work Scorpio. Okay. So during this eclipse, understand I'm speaking only the eclipse. So when you look at eclipse, you've got the six months prior and the six months after. So with That's this particular new moon in Aries, it's going to go fundamentally for another six months. So you're starting your new projects, your new stuff, because this is the new year right now, not January 1st, where they make us. This is what they do with the timelines. They're like, we're going to put it here in the dead of winter. This is going to be your new year. <laughs> it's not. It's right now. We just we just hit the new year right now. Aries is the new year. It's always the beginning of a cycle. That is the way it is. So the seventh house, like I said, oh, sorry, Scorpio in the sixth house, your health, your reproductive um, health, because it's Scorpio, reproductive, your health, and your basic, like, day-to-day, -day, what you do for work. So do you get up? Do you work nine hours a day? Do you do this? What is it you do? So for, Air, for Scorpio, that's how this eclipse is affecting you, okay? So, like, how do you take care of self? How do you work daily on yourself? And how do you work on your work daily? So that's Scorpio. So Libra is in the seventh house where it belongs natally. So the same thing, balancing <laughs> eight Scorpios. That's a lot of people's opinions. Um, but Libra is in the seventh house and Libra is always out of balance. And Aries is bringing a new cycle of balance to your relationships, not just sexual, not just husband and wives, but it's bringing a lot of um circumstances i guess to your experience with the people that you have communications with okay so libra it's a pretty normal feeling for you during this eclipse the eighth house is virgo well you know what i call virgo the most psychic sign number one the second thing is Virgo the virgin, Virgo the whore. Don't get mad at me, Virgos. You know you dress like a virgin, but you naughty when you take those clothes off. I'm being oh. serious. Oh. I'm being so serious. Oh. Um, it is a sign of the prostitute. People don't like to say it to hear that. I'm not saying y'all are prostitutes. It's just when you see Virgo and how clean and how productive it is, it can compartmentalize the sex act. When if you a Virgo, don't make any mention about what she just said. <laughs> when it's in the eighth house, Virgo is going to focus on regeneration of their body energy, their spiritual energy, their sexual energy, and their material energy, money, eighth house. So this eclipse is opening channels for Virgo to make different kind of money. Ninth house is Leo. Uh, Leo in the ninth house. This is interesting. Leo's new ways of traveling, new ways of moving about in your neighborhood, in the planet, and new educational things coming through for Leo. Ninth house, all things Sagittarius for Leo's philanthropy, higher minded studies. So like university studies, different ways of thinking. Tenth house is cancer. Cancers. Right away, I'm drawn to the father energy, even though cancer in the tenth house is more of a feminine energy, but during this eclipse, and keep in mind, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, and Aries, you guys are all being affected most by this eclipse. New moon, solar eclipse, you guys are all being affected. So 
for cancer people, there will be information about the father figure coming up during this eclipse. So between now and six months after April 8th and six months down the road. So, Gemini, you're in the 11th house. I just want to see what she's going to say about a Pisces. Gemini, you are going to have some fun with your friends, focus on what you want to do, all of that. That's You're going to have some fun. The 11th house of Gemini, time to put your energy into the type of friends you want to have, okay? Taurus is last because of the way the wheel goes during the eclipse. Um, anyway, Gemini, friends, dreams, and goals. Your focus is on the 11th house issues, which is the natural house of Aquarius. Unless so I missed it. Inspired insight, information, all of that. And then we have Taurus in the 12th. Yeah. Past life spiritual one. connections for Taurus during the eclipse. And keep in mind, Aries and Taurus get along really, really well. Like Aries and Taurus get along super well. So it's a good energy because Taurus can stay kind of stuck and Aries is like, get out, get out. Go. And the 12th house is all kinds of, all kinds of, um, how do I want to word it? All kinds of, 12th house is all kinds of past life spiritual stuff. Okay. So it has a lot to do with that in your personal charts. You have to look and see where Aries is placed in your personal chart. Take a look at the Cancer house. Take a look at the Capricorn house and take a look at the, sorry, take a look at the Libra house. Take a look at the Cancer house and the Capricorn house in your chart. So like if you have your Aries in the eighth house, that's vastly different than the fifth house. But I'm reading it generally for the sun signs, but you have to look on your chart and look for things that are 19 degrees. Also, not that I'm not going to mention this. For you people that like to buy lottery tickets, the 20th and the 21st is really good. We have Uranus, Uranus, Jupiter conjunction on April 20th. That's unexpected luck. Like that's like shit raining, raining luck. Okay. So whatever it is you're trying to do, let's say you're trying to pitch an idea. Let's say you're trying to do whatever it is. I don't know. Pitch an idea get a permit to build something onto your house and ADU, I don't know, get a new car, do it on the 20th. Ask for it, put the information out there because it's so lucky. Uranus and Jupiter is like super lucky. Jupiter is the planet that rules Sagittarius and it's it's just like expansive, right? So Jupiter is just like out there, crazy expansive. Uranus is like a wildcat card, right? It just comes up and says, yeah, let's shift some luck over here. So it's really, really lucky. So don't let anybody squash your luck on the 20th of April because that's when that conjunction happens. And actually, For the people that's familiar with her, y'all let me know how accurate do she be with this type of stuff because this is the first time i actually seen a video. Well, not the first time, but I've seen her, I guess, predict certain things. Y'all let me know, like, how accurate do she be with this stuff? probably leading up to the conjunction so like the 20th conjunction means the planets are married so their energies combined they're married like this okay so it's a combination of energy like this so you want to combine the energy right and so we have the 20th and the 21st it's absolutely good luck i don't care what you're doing even if you get arrested you will get off on the charge (laughs) you will get off on the charge so it's super lucky okay so we have mercury retrograde until the 25th of april there will be a shadow period because understand when mercury goes direct again it goes to its station degree the degree that it went retrograde in so it goes right back to that point and then it starts moving distance and moving forward so it's probably like a two-week thing but you know, you can't be worrying about the shadow periods on everything because there's shat. Don't listen to eclipse weirdos, okay? Please don't listen to eclipse weirdos. <laughs> don't do that. There's all these people that go. She called it. Everything's gonna stop. She called it. Okay. She called it. Has anything ever really stopped? Like the whole time you've been alive, she called has it. anything ever stopped? She called it's it. Never stopped for me. Like doesn't stop you know what i'm saying <laughs> like has anything it. ever stopped like does anything ever stop just because of the eclipse they're gonna stop stuff oh aries rising it's definitely gonna affect you definitely gonna affect you i oh you have a natural wheel so it's gonna affect you and i think it's gonna be super fun so i like eclipses and people have fun during the eclipse you're not gonna believe these videos from the eclipse today watch this and tell me what you think this is Buddy look a little sunburned out there on the eclipse, boy. Wait, what's 
that's that. You got two more. Definitely seen that. What is that? I don't know. So I'm not crazy, but is the solar eclipse light an emblem jar? No. No emblem. The way the light's shining through. And there is a figure is that an of angel? a man. You can't tell me that that is not a figure that look of a man. Crazy. What is that stuff flickering in the sky? Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Comment below and tell me what you think this is. Wow. No way. No way. No way. Two jets? It's a plane. That's doing chemtrails. If you have any other videos that are interesting, make sure to tag me in those and comment below what you think is going on in some of these clips. I don't know. Arizona, you guys been having a lot of weird activities lately. This one was caught during the solar eclipse, you guys. Check this out. So they blocked out the clouds. Y'all can see this, but this is what they found. <laughs> Whoa, what's Whoa. that? Oh my, I knew it's a left wing cover up. This is what they're covering Wait, up. What is that? It's, Take a picture. Drone? Take a picture. It's a drone. So <laughs> uh, drones don't light up like, light up like that. That's an alien. There's no drone that lights up like that. It looks like a mini sun, y'all, because it's got like the hands like the sun usually has, but it's pretty far. It's literally a red eye, you know, like the planes that you catch, the red eye. But what is that? That look crazy. It's going to disappear, but you can clearly see that it's in the sky. What? Why, why he not zooming in? Though? It's going to fade out. But yeah, here's a closer look at it right here, y'all. You can clearly see it's a floating orb, you know. In the further picture, you couldn't tell it was floating, but this over here, you can tell that it's literally floating and it's going all kinds of directions. You see why the sun is doing a great solar eclipse? Another thing is happening right behind you. And this is why they were messing with the skies yesterday, y'all. A lot of stuff was happening in the skies yesterday. So like I said, man, I think things are about to intensify after this solar eclipse, y'all. So you guys be on your guard. This Here video is strictly go. for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace out. They're not going to stop. If you were lucky enough to experience totality during this latest solar eclipse, did you notice a little red spot on the sun while the sun was fully obscured? You might have seen a solar prominence. A solar prominence is a bright pinkish red loop that extends outward from the sun made of cool plasma and magnetic field. We still don't know exactly why they form, but they may be tied to sunspots, which are cool dark spots on the sun's surface. We do know that when they occur, it's due to magnetic field lines forming loops that hold plasma from the sun's chromosphere. The chromosphere is a thin layer of plasma between the photosphere, which is the sun's visible surface, How do they and the corona, which is the sun's upper atmosphere. How do they know this? These magnetic field lines hold the cooler plasma. How do they know this? Who was sent in this, like, what type of equipment did we send that was actually able to, like, withstand the sun's energy? in these arch structures. The reddish color of solar prominences comes from hydrogen emission. Solar prominences usually take a day or so to form, but they're relatively stable. They can last for weeks or even months. They're absolutely huge. The biggest solar prominences can be larger than the largest planets in our solar system. The average size of a solar prominence is about 10 times the diameter of our planet Earth. During a total solar eclipse, if we're lucky, which we were this time, 
You can occasionally see solar prominences as reddish or pinkish loops extending from the surface of the sun. How do we know this stuff? Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? Look at the sun. Can you guys see that? Wow. Look at that, y'all. That's This is the sun at, the, at my house. Look That's at crazy. this. Whoa, look at the halo around the sun. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Is that the eight ball? It's the year to eight. Yo, look at this, y'all. Hmm? Look at that. That shit's right there. Oh, my goodness. That shit is huge, y'all. I can't even fit it in my camera. Look at that, y'all. That's well. Oh, my goodness. That's just right there. I don't know what that was. So I'm in Arkansas. It is sunset. You can see behind me. There's sunset. A rabbit just ran by my feet. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> but I want y'all to listen to these birds. These birds have been going absolutely nuts. So I came here today to view the total solar eclipse. We drove to a place that was in the absolute, absolute center of the path of totality. It was the most mind blowing thing I've ever seen. I'm, Y'all, I can't even explain to you. I can't even explain to you how looking at like, when you're looking at one of the, and I look straight at it. They tell you don't look at it. I looked at it. My eyes are fine. But I'm looking at this thing, the total solar eclipse when it's in totality. And it's, it's hard to grasp the fact that it's real. Mm. It's hard to grasp that what you're looking at is a real thing. It's, it was absolutely crazy. But I came out here to... They're quieting down now, but I have never heard birds make that much noise as they were making 10 minutes ago. And sure enough, as soon as I come out here to video and show you guys, they shut up. Something is up. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. After watching this eclipse, we all know, leading up to this thing, that this eclipse is a big deal. Something <laughs> is up something is coming just like i predicted nothing happened today other than an eclipse but it does seem like there is a change it does seem like there was a shift i felt something in the spirit big time when i was watching that eclipse it was the most mind-blowing experience that i've ever had i can't it's Yo, I can't put it into words. I cannot put it into words what it's like experiencing a total solar eclipse like that. And like I said, we were in the middle of the path of totality. It was over four minutes of totality. I took video of my phone. It didn't really do it justice, but I am going to edit it all together and share the experience with you guys. These birds are going absolute nuts. I got rabbits running by my feet. A rabbit. I almost stepped on a rabbit just now. Something is coming. Nothing happened today. Just like I said. They called the National Guard and everything. Everybody's all freaking out and like worried about something. I knew nothing was going to happen today. But that doesn't mean nothing's going to happen. Something is going to happen. There has been a shift. There has been a change. And God revealed something to me okay. a few days ago about where this had took about where this eclipse took place that is absolutely mind-blowing i'm going to make a video of that when i get home and show it to you hopefully maybe i can record it while i'm here but something is coming guys you have to get right with god you have to get right with god today there is a judgment coming there's a judgment coming god is about to make things happen and i think the devil is going to make things happen too and you want to be in God's protection. In order to be in God's protection, you have to be right with him. Get the sin out of your life. All of it. Repent. 
get close to God. Spend every day trying to get closer to him. I'm telling you, you don't want no part of this judgment that's coming. And after watching this eclipse and feeling what I felt, I couldn't be more convinced that that's true. If you don't know how to get right with God today, I posted a video about it a week or two ago. I'm going to I'm going to put it in the description box below. I highly suggest that you do it. You get right with God today. Today before it's too late. And I turned around and almost just stepped on another rabbit. <laughs> Things are about to get weird, y'all. I'm telling you. You better get right with God today. Time is up. Mr. Zuckerberg, would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um. Uh, no. If you've messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that might be what this is all about. Your right to privacy, the limits of your right to privacy, and how much you give away in modern America in the name of connecting people around the world. Apparently there was all these predictions that today was gonna be the end of the world. <laughs> Check out the predictions they made. The Simpsons predicting the rapture on 23 nights. So this is another failed prediction. <laughs> 239 pounds! Oh, I'm a blip. Why are all the good things so tasty? You can do it, old boy. Yes, I can. To this stuff. One, two, three. One, two, three, nine. Well, it looks like we made it. Another failed prediction, huh? Do I know you, sir? Yes, sir. No, you don't know me, sir. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever told me your name before? Prophecy going very wrong. Have you ever told me your name or where you stay, your house number, your address, how many kids you have? Do I know you? No. I'm asking. Yeah, yeah we meet before. The yeah, yeah, we meet before here. Uh-huh, what did we meet? What did we uh, talk? Around 2 o'clock. Oh, right. ah. I was here today. Let me see if I say, I come on and pizza at all I want to say, I'm pizza again, I'm out. He said he called you, you called him, and you asked him, who is his, what is your name? I called him. I called you where? A room in this apocalypse. Let me go. I'm a basement. More overflow. Yeah, I'm overflow. What time? I'm sorry. You said during the day you called him. During the day. I met you. They laughing. Yes, you understand? I understand, prophet. I understand. But it's you. I see you now. It's you. I see you. Dang, buddy. He ain't even go for it. He ain't pay him enough. Another failed prediction called prophecy. I saw angels. You saw angels in what? I saw angels in heaven. You, Okafo, you saw angels in heaven. <laughs> My people, continue. This, was the, this is the hand of the Lord stretched forth a scepter. And I saw the scepter came on the head of the man in labor party. 
And then I saw oil follow the scepter. Then I saw angels. They were they get these angels. There are about 46 of them. <laughs> okay, listen to the specifics now. There are about 46 of them. <laughs> Just to try to make sure that people can believe that these men really had an encounter with God. I saw the hand of God stretching forth. My people, <laughs> continue. This was the this is the hand of the Lord stretched forth a scepter. And I saw the scepter came on the head of the man in labor party. And then I saw oil follow the scepter. Then I saw angels. They were they gave these angels. There are about 46 of them. They gave them this. It was like Agbada, but it has the color of Nigeria. They were putting it on him. When I inquired, I said, What's the meaning of this vision? Listen, listen, listen. Listen. When I inquire from the Lord, I said, what's the meaning of this vision? The Lord said, that is the one that will bring the country to where they are supposed to be, that in heaven he has been anointed. So he inquired from heaven, he inquired from God, what is the meaning of this that he has seen in a vision? Because he saw a Nigerian cloth, he called it in Agada, I think, being put on this Labour Party candidate. And he did not understand it. And that Agada, that cloth that was being put around the Labour Party candidate, it had the color flag of Nigeria. And what did the Lord say? This is the one that I have chosen and anointed to take Nigerians to the promised land. Who was he talking about? And I said, why? The Lord said, if the Christian don't pray, he said, my will is the man. Hmm? The man they call obedient. Hold on, please, please, don't, don't, don't joke, don't get excited. I am delivering this message. I don't belong to any political party. I don't have interest to be the president of Nigeria, and I can never be a politician. But I am speaking from what the Lord says. Three things. We pray that the will of heaven will not be interrupted and be interfered with. And number two, it's a clarion call to the church and to everybody because the next eight years, if the wrong person sits there, there will be suffering. What, the, what people are going through is a child's play compared to what is coming. So please, take note as we pray. He has said it. And the funny part is he claims that he does not belong to any political party. My people, all these religious Goomsters are all affiliated. Mm. Mm. This is a video of a guy who was predicting the rapture happening on the 23rd. Now, many of us know it didn't happen. Here it is. Three things you must be doing if you're preparing for September the 23rd. Number one, you must okay. be ready. That involves keeping commands, doing the names. Just Another the field prediction. The and the sun. Number two, you must be on watch. And number three, you must be praying. What do it mean to be on watch? Matthew chapter 24, verse 43. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch, okay, in what watch, okay, there are four watches we should be watching for because we don't know the hour, but we know the day. So there are four watches and we should be on watch during these hours. Mark chapter 13, verse 35. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. Here's the watches, the first watch, at evening. So on September 22nd, at evening, between the hours of 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., okay? The second watch, or at midnight, so at midnight on September 22nd or 23rd, okay? Between those hours of 11 p.m. and 1 a.m., we should be on watch. The third watch, or at the cock crowing. This is crazy. Okay, that is... On the 23rd, between the hours of 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. The last watch, number four, is in the morning. So September 23rd, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. We should be on watch. What should we be doing during these watches or hours? Mark chapter 13, verse 33. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. So we should be watching and praying during these hours. Okay, so September the 23rd is the first day of winter. Okay, if this is not the day, every Shabbat moving forward, we should be on watch. Okay, because the Son of Man do cometh to seal the elect, to seal the remnants 
and well. you want to be sealed during the great tribulation. Now here is him making a video after <laughs> it didn't happen, stating he made a bad prediction. Okay. September the 20th, I thought was gonna happen. I thought was gonna happen, which was a bad prediction, which was a bad, bad prediction. prediction. But just because nothing happened, that don't mean that there wasn't a shift, okay? So now we have moved into the great part of the tribulation. Yes, we are in the great tribulation now. So Listen, we are not in the tribulation and he is teaching that we are and we are not. The saints of God, he's talking about the remnant that he's still gonna choose. He's already chosen them, okay? The Bible teaches us that Whoever has been sent by God, who was chosen by God, belong to the Son. They belong to Jesus. And we have been chosen. We've been handpicked by the hand of God. He's not going to come later and cho choose us. He's already chosen us. He has chosen the foolish and the weak. And those of us who ha he has chosen to be sealed we will be raptured before the seven years of tribulation. Now, if you read uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 from verses 13 through 18, you read that and you share that and you comfort each other with that. This is what the Bible is telling us we should do. This is the letter from Paul and Paul was saying that this is what we should be doing. Now, let me just say this before I let you finish watching this. If you are not speaking and communicating and fellowshipping with the spirit of the living God, if you are not getting your information from him, then you are deceived. Mm -hmm. You should be receiving everything from the living God, the spirit of the living God, everything. This information that they're giving us is false. Everything is about to escalate rapidly. Why he keep looking so away? Those that don't believe. He like. Let's wait and see how these few days go ahead, moving into this week. Let's see what happens. Because there was a shift, according to scripture, we are in the Great Tribulation at this moment, okay? Because we have approached the winter time. So everything is about to escalate. Now, let me just say this, okay? I'm not picking on this guy because of <laughs> anything specific. He was just one of many who were making these predictions oh, for the 23rd of September, 2023 didn't come to pass but here is what i will say is that jesus along with many of the prophets of god prophesied in the last days there would be many mm. false prophets mm. who will lead many mm. astray mm. now i don't know how many people mm. he was speaking into and how many people he might they might have believed what he mm. was saying but i go along with what Many others who were doing the same thing. Now, he had like 40 plus thousand followers, along with many of the other people who've been doing this for, I don't know how long this has been going on. But I know that September, November, October, December has been rapture time. This is according to them. This is not according to God, because if this were so, then mm. it would have happened a long time ago. But we are at a place today where the Bible tells us that in the last days, there will be perilous times. Now, because we're dealing in those times today, let me tell you what's happening. People are in search for this kind of wisdom and knowledge, mm. and it's not from God. This is from self. People mm. are no longer listening to sound doctrine. They are searching for those who will tell them what their itchy ears want to hear mm. and this is dangerous why because these people are leading many astray and away from the true gospel mm. paul said if any man preaches another gospel other than the one we taught you let them be cursed and let me tell you something about these false prophets every single man of god and woman of god who is falsely prophesying are cursed and anyone who supports them and endorses them are cursed as well. Why? Because they are believing in the lies that they are teaching. You remember that the next time you run in to a false prophet.
all right that was another tiktok video man conspiracy theories that predictions that failed man so the last section was just a couple other conspiracy theories and predictions that wasn't true than the 23 23 that was last year but he pulled up a video and he was like what i thought was gonna happen but if you made it to the end of this one i need you to draw a real one for real and also if you've seen the eclipse write it in the comments what was that experience like did you see something crazy or just what was it like experiencing the eclipse also what are your thoughts in regards to the people that was saying like yo this is gonna happen this was gonna happen and then it didn't happen what are your thoughts on those people and if you was one of those people that believed that that stuff was gonna happen and it didn't happen how did it make you feel what was your mindset like like what is it what does that do to your psyche but also i got a whole playlist of tiktok videos man you can go through and watch them yourself but till next time self-love and positivity fire squad i got you and you know it Bye.